As traffic on the Queensborough Bridge ground to a cold, snowy halt, members of a new Westminster Sikh Gudwara jumped into action, delivering hot tea and 300 or so ready-made meals to stranded motorists. They were all the way from the other side of the, the Queensborough Bridge to the temple, and when they just see that this is the, that they are not moving an inch, so then we decide now we have to make more meals, and it's very hard for everyone to come to the temple, then we have taken the meals to the bridge. The help didn't stop on the bridge. Some drivers couldn't move their cars, so the temple welcomed them in. 60 to 65 people have slept in our temple, and they had they have used the restroom, they slept, and then when they wake up in the morning, some has some have leave because when they come to know that Alex Brazier Bridge has opened close around 3:30. So now they have decided to go home and some are just going back to the work from their own. These volunteers weren't alone. Tajinder and his two daughters, Simrat and Naseeb, saw the backup of cars in Richmond and brought out hot tea and toast. We should be able to check in on people in our own neighborhood and see if they're doing we're just We're just passing it forward like it, uh, because people are gracious everywhere. And we're not the only ones. There was another mother and daughter yep. uh, team out there who was, was giving yep. out cookies and snacks. And and I mean, the Canadian spirit is alive and well. Bug Jolicoeur was also stuck in the storm. Rather than sit in the line, he stopped to eat and got more than he bargained for. The hour and a half wait at the restaurant turned into a stranger yeah, opening up his table. It. We had a good chat. I bought him a drink. He thought it was great. We ate the same meal and we just chatted about everything. It was a nice feeling to just kind of walk in somewhere, but it ended up being a real nice experience. Good way to, to and you know, wait out the snowstorm. Generous signs of warmth on a long, cold, frustrating night. Yasmin Gandham, CBC News, New Westminster.